Here's what I think is happening, right? If I say royal military service to you, then partly depending upon your age, but generally speaking, the first person you would think of is Prince Harry. You would recall, for example, that footage of him when he was being interviewed on telly and an alarm went off, I think, at Camp Bastion in Afghanistan, and he tore off the microphone and legged it. It made me go weak at the knees. It was it was a, a quite a quite a beautiful moment actually. And again, I don't want to have a, a, a big conversation about militarism or or indeed Afghanistan in particular, which is in the news for very different reasons today. But if it, he he uh, and, and again, if you've served, you can set me straight on this. But he to me seemed like a proper soldier. All right. Uh, and he was in the thick of it. He, he wasn't at arm's length. I think Prince Andrew's service in the Falklands as, as a helicopter pilot was the real deal, actually. Um, but he didn't rise to admiral through his quality of military service. Poor old Prince Edward had a crack at joining the Royal Marines. Didn't work out very well for him. I don't think Princess Anne did anything, and Prince William drove, well, essentially flew search and rescue helicopters in Wales, um, albeit under the auspices of the RAF. So I say military service to you in April 2021. Royal military service, who do you think of first? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's Prince Harry, right? So how ridiculous would it have looked if he was the only one there, not in a uniform? I want to dress up as an admiral mummy, said Prince Andrew. Oh, Andrew, please sit down, said Her Majesty the Queen. I am as qualified to speculate upon that conversation having occurred as any of the people who will be getting paid a few quid to pop up on your telly this weekend and share their royal expert insights. That's why it's happened. Because the Queen has surveyed, in her wisdom, this strange state of affairs, and she has concluded that it would just look daft for the only member of the royal family that people automatically associate with the army to be the only member of the royal family not in a military uniform at Prince Philip's funeral. <laughs>